testy, testy, one, two, testy. Your testicles, thank you. Testicles. Test, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. Test, hey. test, test. Oh, this is me? Perfect. You just got a cut of hair. <laughs> Hello? This is my voice today, guys. Welcome. <laughs> we had TwitchCon happen. I actually do have like a deeper voice at the moment because of TwitchCon. No. Yeah. It's like it's refreshing my voice. It's like, <laughs> Good. Which, one, which one? The raspberry or the... Ah, ah, ah. And then just get it ready. Ah. And then we're just gonna... Oh shit, my bad. Wait, we ready? We three, two, we one. And then we take a sip. Mm. Oh my God. Woo, dude. Okay, how do we start this? What, what, Shh. what? Are we starting it already? Yeah. yeah. We're live. <laughs> Say hi to Eli. It's racially ambiguous and baddie. That guy's fucking ridiculous. And donut. That's harder to rhyme, but he's a really nice guy. Welcome to unsubscribe. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for watching the Unsubscribe Podcast. Um, make sure wherever you're listening or watching, whether it's on YouTube, uh, Castro, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, Podbean, Stitcher, or that's all of them. Please leave a comment, uh, uh, like it, thumbs up it, give it a rating of five stars, whatever you do, it helps the podcast out immensely. And Donut and Eli will be very happy if you do that. And we want to make Donut and Eli happy today. Yeah. For five stars on everything and a comment if there is possible, because we need to be at the top. Donut, say something come. motivating. And that's where the, you come, that is... Come subscribe. Hi, everyone. Unsubscribe podcast here. I'm joined today by Eli Double Fat, Batty Streams, and Pastilli Pestily Pest, the biggest wiener in Australia. It's pretty rad. <laughs> Crocodile Dundee himself. Dun Crocodile Dundick. Dundick. Get what up, they, mate. Hell, he's a gun. him. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> we all add subtitles. Crocodile yeah. Dundick. There Please it is. add subtitles. Fuck. We have no idea what this man says. <laughs> just question whatever. marks underneath. We went to the range today and he's like, oh, 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 gun. And we're like, okay, you're a gun. He was upside down shooting. It was weird. It was so crazy. <laughs> the just floating. <laughs> <laughs> it's Australia joke, Batty. Oh, because oh, it's upside down. Sorry to the viewers out there. We have to explain our jokes wait, to Batty. Wait, is he upside down or does he shoot the gun? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been way be better. great on Demo Ranch. Oh, we should have. Oh, we could have done a skit or something on that. Him shooting them upside down. Like, I'm going to just hold me by the feet. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. Hold me by the ankles and just went. <laughs> I like a shooting upside down gun, or I just green screen you real quick, and I have him floating around. Just like, I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Oh man, this is how he trained. This is what he learned. Hi, how, how, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. How's it going? Ah, uh, great. So you're known for Crocodile Dundee one, Crocodile Dundee two. I didn't read my. Right. <laughs> oh, I love that scene. Hey, <laughs> is, that, is that your only Australia joke, Crocodile Dundee? Is that all you got? And Outback, which we took them to, they turned it down, but we yeah. offered to take. <laughs> I was like, we're going to Outback, and I'm like, we are from the Outback. I was like, Steakhouse. Listen, thank you. <laughs> Have you had shitty steak before? <laughs> Let me we'll tell you about the blooming onion, onion, guys. <laughs> it's fresh off the Barbie. Oh, <laughs> is that what it's called, the Barbie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was a little bit lost. <laughs> You're like fresh off the bar. B. B. That's not why <laughs> we're all lost. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about the emus. Ah, uh, we lost that wool. Yeah. Can't talk about okay. That. To birds? That's a real fucking thing. It's a joke. Is it? Yeah. See, I don't know. Huh? Same. If you look it up on the internet, it, it's like got a full story behind it, but it's not real. Okay. Hey, maybe it's real. Before I'll my see time. why I'm confused. Oh, I'm not just an idiot, but life like. It's a lie. <laughs> it's like drop bears. Koalas. Right? The, the exact same thing. What'd you say? Drop bears. Drop bears? Yeah. What's that? Drop it's bears? koalas, but it actually is... People make it try and make it scary, so... They say, watch out for the drop bears. Will they hurt you? No. Why are they called drop bears? Do they drop they're out not, of trees? They're not real. But they're meant to be like... They're like a you, snipe? Oh, Every yeah, Australian like listening it to this right like now is dying. Just dying laughing. Sni they're snipes. Yeah. They're, they're Australian snipes. snipes. The snipe sure. Let's go with yes. Yeah. You know what a snipe is? No idea. You tell kids to walk around and smack stick together, and you'd be like, it's going to draw the snipe. So you, you juice, you have little kids do it. So they Wait. fuck off. <laughs> What's it look like? You'll know when you see it, young man. I'm they just, <laughs> just wave those sticks around. Batty was doing this six months ago. <laughs> he was at Walmart getting a I've never back. been so lost in a conversation. <laughs> and he's like, I, tr I trust you, Cody, and Eli. I don't, I don't know what this means. <laughs> 
I just picture you're out in the woods. He's like like crying. I trusted the 36 years old. It's just lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's midnight. You just he's like nods on just smacking fucking sticks. He's like, they're here. Kicking Eli the said trace. it was so. You've never heard of this bad? No. What the fuck childhood did you have? Not as poor as yours. <laughs> <laughs> We had, we had Sorry. sticks and tacos. I, was say, yeah. I had sticks and that was it, apparently. And words. <laughs> Go Not play good ones. Sn- no. <laughs> Snipe. <laughs> Fuck. Man, no. Okay, so Drop Bear is the Australian one. Of Is that what it comes from? It's just a fucking... Yeah, it's just to scare people, the tourists. It's like... I'm not trying to stereotype here, but everyone like says, like, you know, in America you'll get shot. It's kind of like our version of that. Like, everyone's yeah. afraid of the snakes, the spiders, the, the drop monsters, bears. monsters, yeah. Crocodiles. Crocodiles would be the only thing I'd be afraid of in Australia. Like I would not go swimming in a river in the northern parts of Australia. You would die, hundred percent. I'd no. What about lie. the the fucking Fuck. tiny little jellyfish that murdered a bunch of people that there were, and they didn't know for that's my favorite story. Yeah, they don't like, fuck you up. They won't kill you. They'll no, they're little ones that do kill you. There's but, little ones that kill you. I think they just fuck you up. I think there's the ones are those the ones that go on in your leg. pee hole. Wait, nah, are you I don't trying to get jelly? You want me to pee on you right now? Are you okay? Reverse Jell- cement? A jellyfish that goes. <laughs> 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 the, the, the fresh, <laughs> just burning as it goes up. The freshwater jellyfish come out. The saltwater jellyfish go come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in my balls. <laughs> oh no, my balls are on fire. <laughs> pee on them. I hate Australia. Australia. This, is, this is the come. Okay. Today's oh. taking a turn already. Isn't I'm what, sorry. Isn't that what you always talk about? Yeah. 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 See, Batty. No, it's see, really, right, we're right on target. Five, six minutes in. Come. Ooh, we're first part down. Now we can talk about what game is it you play? Escape <laughs> from Taco. We're not talking about that. Okay, good. Thank God. This is not a gaming podcast. <laughs> or it is, but. Well, it, gaming. Yeah. It's like, uh, what else do you do for fun, though? You like, because right now you're, you're, you're doing your videos. You did, we went to the gun range today. Yeah, we shot uh, every gun in Tarkov, pretty much. It was actually quite impressive how many you guys have as was, a collection between you all. That was the biggest range day we've had, I think. In a long time. Yeah, yeah. we all brought out our guns. That, that was, was like cool. everyone brought out guns for that. So that was like a big, like, hey, we're having crazy. a good old like, time. Matt wasn't there for that shit either. So it was, it could have been more. Both Matts could, yeah. Yeah, could have brought their stuff. Oh, that would have been a long range Oh, day. yeah. It was long. already quite long. I was like, well, I was doing the math before. I'm like, all right, if we get 50 guns, that's going to take three minutes a gun. That's two and a half hours of shooting. But I think we had more than 50 at the end. I think we got to about 80. Well, yeah. I seen you were, at first you were like loading full mags. It was like, put 10 in each <laughs> mag. I was like, I don't think they know how long that's going to take. Also, it's expensive. <laughs> I was like, just cut a lot of the stuff away. We, let's just get the footage of shooting them all and then worry about the rest of it later and B-roll it all and yeah, just talk, talk over. Some voiceover Otherwise, it. it would have been like a six-hour day of just straight shooting. We literally shot 80 guns. Well, I mean, yeah. when we all went and hung out with Demo Matt, when he brought out every one of his guns, everyone's like, well, why didn't you shoot every gun? And it's like, we have 400 feet of guns lined up right now. What do you mean, why? <laughs> like... But the the funny thing is, he went back and did it, and it took him like an hour and a half or something <laughs> to fire like one, one round. shot. Yeah, he fired <laughs> one shot from each gun and just said a little something about them. And there was how many guns was that? A hundred and something. It was, it was, it was like yeah, the vid, the end video was like an hour or yeah. something in length. But it ended up getting like a couple million views. So and people stayed for the entire yeah. fucking time. Like, and he was like, for real, this is you guys signed up to just want to see. Like, I got it from my mom. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Like, it's a nine mil. He's like, I found this one. <laughs> he, he probably called all of us. He's like, are you sure I should do this? And we're all like, yes, fucking do it, dude. Ended up getting a co- like six or seven million views or something crazy like that. And it's an hour and a half. So there's mid rolls every eight minutes. And he was pissed because yeah. he didn't do it in December. He's like, fuck, I should have done it. You remember? Yeah. It was hot. <laughs> yeah, it was hot as shit. Well, it was also mi- the mid rolls were CPMs during yeah. uh, your holidays. Uh, your holiday. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, people at home, your ads always pay more around the holiday times for like YouTubers and stuff. So that's yeah. why there'll be a lot of content coming around that time. Now yeah. it makes way more sense. I was like, why do people push so much content around December? Oh, oh they yeah. like money. The paychecks. It's actually starting about now. Now is about the time to start picking it yeah. up. Yep. Yeah, because we got Black Friday. We got all those like. Thanksgiving. Holiday. Yep. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Have you I'm done things from here? I know. Have you ever done a Thanksgiving? No, never in my life. Oh. You want to come back for Thanksgiving? No. 
<laughs> you <laughs> fly back for one I'm day. I'm fucking overflying. We had to fly two flights from here, from San Diego to here. There yeah. was 18 hours of flying from Australia to San Francisco. I'm Jeez, done with flying. Dude. 18? Five flights for me to get home from here. Five? Yeah. Fuck what, that From shit? here? The f- what? Okay. San, San Antonio to... Somewhere. Dallas and then probably. somewhere to San Fran. And then San Fran to Australia. Sorry, it's four flights. And then San Fran to Melbourne. Melbourne to Adelaide. Four flights I've got to get to get home. But the last leg, you said it's 18 hours? The big one across the Pacific. The big one. I lose a whole Jeez, day. I leave dude. on Thursday lunchtime or Thursday afternoon. And then we hit the Pacific somewhere in the nighttime. And then Friday doesn't exist. <laughs> and I arrive on a Saturday. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's just not there anymore. But <laughs> you flew here... It was on a Monday. You took off at like noon and I got took, here I, on I, noon. I, got, I left at 10 a.m. on uh, Monday and I arrived at 10 a.m. on Monday. I hate time. Time is wishy-washy. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> nah, man. It's so random. You're like, yeah. no time has passed. If I stay on this plane, I am immortal. Time it's not how it works. My brain hurt, dude. <laughs> it's, this is a Stephen King movie. The Langoliers or something? Oh, yeah, where they go yeah, up they and go they go through a portal or some shit in the sky and then there's all these the, metal the ball monsters. Monsters. Yeah. Yeah. monsters yeah there's yeah. three there's like the three because they, yeah. they eat the time that's left behind they accidentally went back in time i forgot about that shit that was a weird oh, they used to terrify movie. me it was on the sci-fi channel every day when i was a little guy ever seen that never dude i now i just want to deep dive into your background of what like what cartoons did you grow up with <laughs> That's what you were wow. about the same age. How yeah. old are you? Well, oh, the oldest ones I can Crocodile remember is like Dungeon. Roger Ram, Ram, Ramjet. Roger Ramjet. Ram yeah, Ram Ram Ro- Roger Ramjet's huge in America. Was it? I don't know. Um, Roger Rabbit. Rugrats? Did you have Rugrats? Roger yeah. Rabbit. Rabbit. So Nickelodeon. You guys have Nickelodeon when you were growing up. Uh, that's like pay TV. I had normal TV. We oh. it was free. Wait, what's okay? Question. <laughs> Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, (laughs) You have to call at me. You have to point at me. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, Is it Roger Rabbit or Roger Ramjet? I don't know. It was like, was it a rabbit? No, it was some like dude that used to have like a rocket ship. I don't know. Oh, then never mind. Roger Ramrod. That's probably not. I hope he didn't watch that. <laughs> that is not a cartoon. You should, <laughs> don't Google that. Roger Ramrod isn't what he watched when he's don't don't that. He's doing work, some guys. ramrodding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Roger Ram what? Roger Ram Jet. Roger Ram, Ram. Oh, Ram Jet. Oh yeah, that's the thing. That's the oldest one I can remember. Oh, that's old as shit. Holy yeah. shit. Wait, you I, had to watch. That I is definitely that, free. But... That's free TV. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. is free cable. I remember like Tom and Jerry and okay. stuff like that. But we had this thing on in the morning called Agro's Card and Connection. Freest. And I shit you not, there was like an old fella that used to hold a puppet and like this like young chick used to be like between 16 and 19. And he was like the seediest motherfucker out there. Like we're talking, he'd be like touching her leg and shit during the show and all that. Wait, what show is this? It's called Agro's Card and Connection. That sounds super there's, weird. And there's like, if you, if you look up on Agro's? YouTube, there's like videos from like the 1980s oh no and it's just like all these cd jokes that he's saying during the show do see this is the because we what tv shows did you also have you like okay you had your kid cartoons then you had your fucking old chomo man. ones yeah <laughs> old man touching little kids shows great quality time we had mr rogers you had pedophile rogers yeah, that's the <laughs> oh that is a creepy fucking yeah it was the beard Oh, he was holding the puppet and her leg. Oh, no. Oh. So, okay. So the guy operating the puppet, <laughs> he, was, he, he was, was he was doing a little sexual assault on the side there. Okay. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, that dude oh, definitely. In, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I, I get it now. He's in jail now, right? He's in, he's in jail. I don't know. He's got I got no <laughs> idea. I, I lost track of it, but. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a zoo. It, does no, look like, it, look it looks like prison khakis. <laughs> I, I thought like, he was oh. a prison khakis. like, the, ah. They let him take his puppet to get <laughs> <laughs> But that is the most shady looking fucking thing ever. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a bit whack. Um, I don't know. I'd, growing up, I had Pokemon and stuff like that. Dragon Ball Z was big. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Then that's it. You had Toonami? No. It was paid TV probably. Wait, how did you watch Dragon Ball Z if you didn't have free? What? We had to have cable to watch. Now, there's like Cartoon five Network. channels in Australia, really three channels in Australia, and one of them had cartoons on it most of the mornings. That's fucking different. Had Wait, Pokemon, you, Dragon Ball Z. And your parents were like, no, we're not getting cable. No. It's expensive. Well, how poor? I grew up poor. I mean, I didn't like with cable either. Yes, I didn't. We were like, I, don't know, I, I eventually got cable, but. Now I'm actually wondering, did 
We had the little slider thing, but I had like 30 channels. That cable? You had 12 channels. No, we had like four. I know. Yeah, now I'm confused because we had like seven people in a two-bedroom house. Great times. Dirt floors. (laughs) Pretty much. Tacos. Tacos spilling out when you open the front door. It was disgusting. Yeah. It's just Mexicans. It's, it's, <laughs> what should, people will drive by like Beaner. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> do you know? I'm, wait, that's. Do you know what Beaner means? A what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about do that. I have, to, have I just walked into something? You well, don't say it. And I start, <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't say it. Okay. But say it with venom and look at me. <laughs> I've, I've been slowly getting through all your older podcasts, and last time, <laughs> was, sorry, aren't you meant to be like Filipino or something? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Mexican. Oh, you, he can speak Indonesian. Indonesian. What? Why? I don't know. The I, army um, made me. He did a class and I was hoping at the, like, he's doing all the classes and they're like, you can speak Indonesian now. He's like, uh, <laughs> I just picture you walking in and just doing a terrible Chinese accent. <laughs> like, I'm fluent in it now. It's, oh my God. My name is uh, <laughs> Pestili. Okay, you know. <laughs> okay, come what on. Okay, yes, went to class in the army. Now, very certified to talk Cantonese. He's so talented. Listen to <laughs> him. Dude, listen, How did you get that accent? Obviously. How? Yeah. How'd you get yours? Exactly. exactly. Same. That's how he speaks. That's normal. <laughs> you are. Yeah. He has to cover this it is up my normal voice. <laughs> I have to just walk around like that all day. And then I turn it off. Oh, my God. Get home so stressful day. Hey guys, how's it doing? <laughs> that's canon in my head now. That's how you speak. When, yeah, when that's my normal poor voice. Sav is like, oh what? my, you look so sexy in your outfit, baby. Come give me that pussy. Put, you know? Put your robe back on. <laughs> oh, you know I like it rough, baby. Have you, have you seen that emotional damage guy? Emotional oh, damage. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking the whole time. That one guy is just doing everything you said right there. <laughs> Which is seen that full too. skit. Uh, where he's like at a restaurant or something or he's fast food takeout. The, the, the entire skit's like, the, oh, they're so good. It starts with, it's him doing the Dark Souls. It's like if Dark Souls was IRL and it was just him walking, it's like a leaf touch you and you fall over and you've died. <laughs> Emotional. Man, now I just want to do like, we no <laughs> damn it this is the no, game I would have played. No. It's like beaner. The word is beaner. What does that mean <laughs> to you? Without saying the word. But what is it? I don't know. I don't <laughs> tell I don't I don't know. Do it. We just don't have a know. list of words. We're like, okay. Oh, yeah. He got that one right. That was weird. He got it right if, off. If the- you don't see us saying it on the side of the table. <laughs> That's the minority side of the table. Well, I went to America and got canceled. (laughs) So what you should do is every time you have a guest here, just have a big wall of words. (laughs) And there's random words that no one would know that's from none around here. I will say... uh a uh, fat electrician when i thought i would catch him off guard it's like your least favorite race like what's your least favorite race and he was like i don't know marathons I was like, <laughs> <piece of shit." laughs> I was like you had a great save there <laughs> oh man that man is quick <laughs> he's so quick it's crazy though i didn't even think about that like he's not gonna know a lot of like the american terminology for that and i guarantee we would not know any of your if you asked us certain words that we'd be like say it can i say it, is it- y'all got a weird word for afternoon right or like, Arvo. Yeah. What, what the fuck? Wait, what? We just shorten every word. So afternoon's Arvo. You said Brecky the other day. Yeah. Brecky? Brecky P. You make Brecky P. It's an old Brecky P. So Brecky's breakfast, but that's like. You're it's the right first, after tea. You're the first person I've ever heard outside of Australia say it like yeah. normally. Brecky? Yeah. No, I, yeah, I guess it's not like a common thing around here, but I've always. I don't know. I, I saw it on an Australian show one time, I think. What are you doing after tea? He is dinner, right? What's the word for dinner? I would say. Oh, yeah, tea. I would say tea is dinner. Yeah. Dinner? What, really? Yeah, the yeah, word tea, for tea. Yeah, you just say tea. Dinner? Tea time. Yep. Dinner time. Yeah. I was like so confused because we were watching, what's the Australian show we just watched? In Between? Yeah. Uh, Mr. In Between? No, I don't know it. What? what? It's an Australian show. I don't know. It's super good. Yeah, there's a lot of American shows I don't know. I can't really. I don't Friends? Like, wait, you haven't heard of this one Australian <laughs> show? How dare you? That's the only one we know. That's the only one we know. Yeah, when you were talking about, you were talking about gun laws over there, and like all I was thinking about was Mr. In Between. It's like a criminal in Australia, and he just kills the fuck out of people. Yeah. No, does any? I don't think anyone knows that. 
Huh. They're looking. She's looking at me like, nah. Wait, it's none of you have seen Mr. In Between? So it's more of an American thing. And you've never been to Outback Steakhouse? God, oh, this is fucking. You're the worst Australian. Australian ever. Man, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what is an Outback Steakhouse in Australia? There's, there's a place called Outback Jacks, which is just like a steakhouse. Okay. But an Outback Steakhouse would just be a steakhouse. <laughs> Do you have Applebee's? No one has Applebee's. Okay. I love America's like Outback Steakhouse. It's Australia. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have? What's He's gonna say Foster's. Bloomin no, bl- Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> See, he doesn't no. even know what the fucking Bloomin' Onion is. I wish I didn't know what a Bloomin' Onion <laughs> was. You're like, like, this is Australian. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck is that? It's like deep fried onion. It's a deep fried onion. That they just kind of pop open. We just call that a deep fried onion. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> now to think about it, that's just an onion ring. <laughs> we call it Basically. onion rings. We would call them onion rings. We have those two. Is it not the same? Yeah. No, because no. the blue onion is like a flower. Together, you know, you're, you chop them up and you get the rings. Pull it yeah. up. Blue onion is just like a, it's like a they chop it so it pops open. And the onion still attached. No, to the bottom. Not that. Wait. Different. Blooming <laughs> onion. <laughs> it's blue men. Don't use the the hard G on that. <laughs> so, Fuck. and it's a yeah no. Are you sure? Yeah, no. It's from Australia. They use like one Outback of those. says so, guys. Yeah. It's like Outback one of those apple cutters. Oh, we should have got. Just go, yeah. And then they fry it. Oh, I should have got Foster's. Just <laughs> no one in show drinks Foster's. No one. Stop. I think they do. No, I, I can tell you they don't. Listen, I know what it's American TV told me. <laughs> Growing up, I saw a lot of commercials about Foster's. <laughs> yeah. They used to don't be commercials in like wrong. the 90s. Yeah. But what, and, did they have commercials in Australia where it's like, Coors Light. It's America. American for yeah. beer. So it's a guy who's just shooting a can over. He's like, America. <laughs> but an Australian accent. The can's like this big. Like, yeah. Everything's bigger here. Okay, that's Bam. actually a funny idea, though. It's like, hey, man, you got a bottle opener? Just blow the cap off, pass it back. Like, what the fuck? If you had Texas Light, it's delicious. Literally, what it's it would be called. Yeah, you can add this Australia's Faustus. What do you drink? What's the go to beer? I normally just have James Squire, which is more of like an Australian, it's almost like a craft beer. It's still pretty popular. But the um, Greater Northern is probably the go-to for majority of Australians now, which is, you guys are like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. I'm yeah. Do you know Forex? VB? Mm. You'd have to know VB. Mm. You're just making up words yeah, and throwing us. I've heard of VD. You know Thorax? <laughs> <laughs> thorax. Uh, is that what you said? <laughs> no. Four X, four X, four X. Oh, see, I'm. I, I heard a you don't X. understand me, do you? Like I'm. <laughs> I heard mustache, man. Yo, you ever heard of thorax with that DB? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> no, VB is like Victoria Bitter. That is like the staple of shine beer. Like, Ooh. what's it go? Six a.m. in the fucking morning. Time for a VB long neck. <laughs> Have, it, have you not seen that? Why would I have what seen that? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's like a, like... What the fuck? Who am I gonna... Everyone knows that. It's like a YouTube video. It's like no. a guy, like... Everyone in Australia. It's like 6 a.m. or 4 a.m. 8 a.m. in the morning. 8 a.m. in the fucking morning. Time for a VB long neck. Can you just talk like that the rest of the time? Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> I can understand it better, actually. <laughs> well, you, you're Sorry, I'm pronouncing uh, my words. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> If he has to talk like that, you have to go back to Okay, the okay deal. (laughs) Yeah, right here we have an American white claw. Can't say it like black cherry. (laughs) Oh, I just got white claw. Wait, can you do an an American accent? Oh, yeah. yeah, No, I can't. You can try it. No, I can't. Try to do an... Every uh, time I've done it, people laugh at me. I mean, we're going to laugh at you. I know. (laughs) Do a southern accent. Just ask with the drawl. Do a southern accent and just act with the draw. That's that actually works. pretty good. There, yeah. there we See? go. I'm from Texas. There you go. Yeah. See, yeah, that's actually, I would be, especially with Bubba's that. Bubba's hot sauce. <laughs> I mean, with that mustache, dude, I want you would trick just, somebody for three close, seconds. You say, I hate Mexicans. The look at them when you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I say, say, say <laughs> yeah, say, say the word now. <laughs> you got the accent. It's, it's a trap. It. It's all a trap. It's a trap. Fuck, just put the camera on me. We'll ADR a bleep in there, and I'll be like, oh, "You asshole!" Good, we got him, kids. Matt it's Kirsten. just really bad. Jesus. Camera cuts to me. It's like Boehner. <laughs> get a demo ranch festally now. I know demo. So apparently, the audio version of that uh, Harley was talking about it. It doesn't. 
show, if you just listen to the audio version on Spotify or whatever, yeah. it just says the kittens. It says kittens. It doesn't bleep it out on that version. But when you watch it on YouTube, so then I showed Harley the YouTube version. He's like, oh, man, that gets so way more spicy. We had spicy. Demo, demo Matt on the podcast. He was obviously a vet before. Yeah, it was, it was the last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you, saw, you, you saw that whole skit then? I fell asleep oh, yeah. on the flight listening to it, but yeah. Uh-oh. He said he lasted three minutes. And he's like, no, I got three minutes. minutes. He was yeah. like this. Good job. <laughs> three minutes? Proud <laughs> of you, bro. <laughs> you got your minutes watched, Duron. Don't worry. <laughs> it's just you guys drooling on it. <laughs> My drool hit the pause button. <laughs> God, man. <laughs> okay, speaking of words. Oh, boy. I know. No, no, I hate when Eli, he gets these little segments. He's like, speaking of. I'm like, here That means you got to fucking do it because we have like. What? Like, kitties, ass, all those normal words. Is there, is there any like special words in Australia? Just say, just say cunt. Yeah. Can I say cunt? Yeah. Yeah. So I want to say it really badly. That's, that's, like. that's what I'm saying. I want it. And when Australians say it, it sounds so good. It's such a like, bad what's word. going on, cunt? Yeah, it's such a cunt? bad word over here, dude. Yeah, but you guys say it really harsh. Like, we like, can't. Oh, how do you Fuck you, cunt. Like, you guys do it like that. It's like visceral. It's like, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, cunt, hey, what's up, cunt? <laughs> with that, cunt? Yeah, with that face. Man, that doesn't sound as cool. It. You fucking. <laughs> I love you, cunt. We do. <laughs> it's like you, it's like don't be a. Cunt. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Be Wait, a man, cunt. Hey, cunt. Don't Did be a shit, cunt. See, we there. There it is. We we have two syllables. God, we, have we just one. got this. This episode just cunt. turned red from the yeah. amount of we just See? dropped. Cunt. Oh, yeah. We Wait, do two syllables. Cunt. You guys are cunt. What a cunt. <laughs> there's, there's a difference between Bravo being cunt. a mad cunt and being a shit cunt. And you want to be a mad cunt. You want to be a shit cunt. Yeah, no one likes a shit cunt. Yeah, we don't yeah. like anybody likes a mad shit cunt. cunt. Wait, is a mad cunt? Yeah, we do, like, mad cunt's good. What's shit a mad cunt? Bad. What's bad, a, as in like, you're sick. You're awesome. Okay, you went, you're angry. A sick cunt's you're, awesome. You too. have a flu. <laughs> But you're awesome. <laughs> okay, now I got. Now I'm trying. You, you angry a sick pussy. mad cunt. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be a shit cunt. No, that shit cunts. I, I'm on board with that. I get that. Yeah. That makes sense. You don't want to be a doo doo. I talk pussy. to slush way more. Doo doo pussy. What's up, doo doo pussy? Yeah, like, you don't want to be a doo doo pussy. <laughs> That's shit cunt too. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna walk around. You don't be Just the next shirt's doo doo pussy. <laughs> What's up, doo doo oh, pussy? Man. Like really, you know, like demo's gonna love. We that joke, one. but we can make that shirt, and you idiots would fucking wear it. <laughs> Hence, why I'm wearing a shirt that says "If I Die" banana in Japanese now. And we have the English version too. Yeah. So hey guys, we just put out a new shirt on Bunker Branding. It's if I die, banana. Because Eli's a fucking idiot. Okay. First off, those texts were very bad on you. It was it was an emoji. You couldn't read an emoji. Yeah, but you're <laughs> it was just a fucking emoji. You're like I just did. I mm. changed my medications for my migraines, and I was like, this may kill me. And I put the salute. No, you like, didn't. If you I said, die, you said that, and then I was like, yeah, okay, but like podcasting, and you're like. <laughs> If I die, banana. I was like, it's a salute. The word <laughs> banana was never there. I didn't know that emoji existed at the time, salute. Daddy. Yeah, there was a there's, yeah, a, there's a new salute emoji. Yeah, yeah, I seen that, but it's not a banana. Yeah, Eli yeah, thought I it was know. a fucking I thought banana. It was banana you have I, a like, purple heart. <laughs> I thought it was a banana. <laughs> I'm not the smartest cookie in the basket. Like purple heart parking at BJ's. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got a we're parked just like 20 feet away from you. Be like, oh yeah, I'm right here. Dude, it was like <laughs> handicap spot, purple <laughs> and then the old no. people spots. I was like, it's like, now's my chance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Show off to the boy. <laughs> I was so mad. Look how far I don't have to walk anymore. Because <laughs> then we have like Crispy, who's burnt in like 70% of his body, missing a leg, fucked up fingers. I would have stole that in a second from him. It's like one of the more. <laughs> I get out and hop. He's like, what the fuck, bro? I'm like, walk back. <laughs> <It's this laughs> like, I'm jumping up and down like, oh, yeah. 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 Ah, do some push-ups and burpees. <laughs> just sprint <laughs> into the like toes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As he hobbles in with his one leg. Which He's out. our friend. This is okay. I yeah. promise. Crispy, do you know why he got his name Crispy? Because he got burnt 70% of his body. Mm, see? I'm got listening. It. I'm listening. Taking notes. He is also a beaner. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> you can't say it. You said yeah. it before. No, I can't. I just can't do that. You did say it earlier. I did say it earlier. <laughs> it's a Caribbean <laughs> shit. Climb with. Mountain climber. Cody's word. He's like, I can't say that. Cody's, Cody's like, like a mountain climber. <laughs> yeah. They're carabiners. Yeah. yeah, carabiners. 
<laughs> it's like like when I give Crispy a hug. <laughs> what are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy fuck! You don't know what Peter Misa <laughs> Tess is like, what is this word? Now you've lost me. <laughs> uh, sorry, we're dumb. Are you sure you want to be on this? Yeah. Okay, it's too late now. I mean, Can't you can leave. walk I'm out. already half an hour deep. It would be the first time a guest left. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't be the last time. <laughs> But like, man, that caught us off guard. We just asked him to say a word multiple times without knowing what it meant. <laughs> I feel like at the end of this, you're going to go, it meant nothing. You know, this whole time you've been like, no, we just thought you would see if you could say a word that we just made up before the podcast. Yeah, totally. That's what the joke is, guys. Huh, yeah. He got us. Go yell it outside <laughs> at, home, at Home Depot. <laughs> Yeah, Home, Home Depot. Home. He doesn't know that joke. It's like all these American inside jokes. You're just like at Home Depot. He's like, Wait, are there no Home Depots in Australia? No, there's no Home Depot. What, the what do you? Fuck? How do you? That's fix- your question. There's no Home Depot. There is there Mexicans in front of the Home Depot. I, I like Home how Depot we have like a hardware store. Care. We have one of the top streamers in the world here, and we're like, all right, so in Australia, <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't have Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> What's so the fuck? Home Depot is like a hardware store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got Bunnings. Bunnings. Yeah. Okay. Do Mexicans hang out from the Bunnings? No. Damn. <laughs> They don't have Mexicans there. <laughs> I know they swim. Like, man, that Mexican took the hard Wait, path. What, bra- what brown people do cheap labor in your country? <laughs> I don't know if I meant to answer that. <laughs> um, I love it's brown people. It's like my people. <laughs> what was I going to say? Nothing. Say nothing. I don't know if this is actually inappropriate or not. But everyone in Victoria, where I grew up, were called Mexicans because we're south of the border. So there's oh, the- one state in Australia that's like the bottom state. Now would everyone would call that like if you're from Victoria. Yeah, that's Mexican. Victoria. Were they like, yo, what's up, Mexican? Or how they say it? No, I just think they looked down on us or something because we're from the bottom. Now it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're Mexican, so it's fine. Sure. Holy shit. Yeah. You're Mexican? I'm not saying it. You don't have to say <laughs> I'm not saying it. That word. So you saw where he was going with that so far. He was like, not gonna say I'll it, print though. you off a card. I got you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you grew up with basic cable. You pretty much are Mexican. Yo, How big mustache. was your house? My first house wasn't very big. There you go. This is normal. It's smaller than this house. I hope so. Jesus. Then you're not Mexican. It, it was first, in your first first house. Is <laughs> this, is space. <laughs> this is a good size. This is a good studio. We just need to fill it out more. Just, just a smidge. Oh, yeah. This is our second one here. You actually... Second guest here, second podcast here. You see the our lights already broke. One can't get it off yellow. Ah, it's stuck there we now. Broke it already. Well, that's the difference. Now everyone them. knows that it's yellow. They're like, are they going to no, fix it? No, it's good. I almost have to, to leave know. it now for the next five podcasts. The fuck that. No, we're just going to buy another one with the fancy lights. They know my tism. I'm going fucking insane about that. My tism is like. I like shit. that it's your side too. So like I your know. lighting's ruined. <laughs> Yesterday I walked in and fucking clean and do that shit. And I'm like, turn on, test everything. I'm like, fucking dope. Pink. Like it should be. Nah. Walk Walked in. in today, it was already, it was red when we came in. Yeah. Couldn't just turn it, it off. Red overnight. Uh, it, it literally was, it was like, it was oh. slightly glowing red. <laughs> I clicked the button and it just brightened even more red. I'm like, you know, I was going to hate that. <laughs> Red one, it looks so And now it's yellow. I don't, <laughs> know, I don't know, man. It's like, let's go to this shit color. I'm like, motherfucker. <sighs> Batty, remember that time I was searching for hot anime dolphins? And I was super embarrassed. <laughs> I hate when I'm online searching up hot anime dolphins. Me too. It's the most embarrassing thing. You know what? Sometimes you're like, just use incognito mode. <laughs> I always use incognito mode. That's safe, right? And then tell the government knocks on your door. Trust me. And then you're holding up that anime dolphin. You're trying to not turn your pants into shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I use Express VPN. <laughs> it doesn't matter who your internet service provider is. That's ISP. Uh, in the U.S. can legally tell your information to ad companies. <gasps> they can sell everything you have, even on incognito mode. That's stupid. They know they're listening. They're watching. They don't care if you're secret. They don't even care right now. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. <laughs> no more dolphin stuff. 
<laughs> ExpressVPN also keeps all your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. Most of the time, I don't even realize I have ExpressVPN on. It runs seamlessly in the background. It's so easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and you're protected. ExpressVPN is available on all your devices, phones, computers, or even your smart It's actually kind of helpful because I actually have used it. It is like, it's a Chrome extension. You just boop. It's oh, just no, like no. any of your, like uh, how you have ad block or anything like that. You can just boop, turn it on or just never shut it off because I know you're a bunch of DJs looking up anime waifu dolphins. <laughs> I can't wait till that's a shirt. That's a I shirt know, now. Anime waifu <laughs> dolphins. With the little. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. But hey, now you can safely uh, search the internet, uh, surf the web, look up your disgusting, disgusting dolphins. That's right. Protect your online activity today with VPN rated number one by Business Insider. Visit your exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash unsub, and you can get your extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash unsub. Expressvpn.com slash unsub to, to stop learn it. more. You're done. You're cut off. <laughs> get your dolphins today. Good. Okay, this is the segment where we talk about video games for three seconds. So why'd you come over to the, uh, America? You, you came in town TwitchCon. for TwitchCon, right? Yeah. TwitchCon was actually all right for about three hours. Yeah. I say that's right. That's why I don't have a voice. I'm and then after that, I left and hung out with everyone outside of TwitchCon. And I didn't break my butt Oof. jumping into a pit. Oh, my God. We got to talk about that. Jumping I mean, onto concrete. Technically, her butt was broken before that, but she hurt her back pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I, I, it's like, this is what blew out her back. <laughs> there was a lot of jokes on that uh, Twitter so thread. There so many jokes. Dude. That poor so back. Jokes. The poor like spine. All the people that could have broken their back. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, rough. Dude, we, she, we were standing there when it happened, but we weren't really paying attention. Jesus. So we just watched that video. It's like, I'm you, just cringing because of the video itself. We should give context. So what happened was... Adriana Chichik was doing like a gladiator dueling thing on top of these little podiums with someone else. There's a little she foam won, below it. And then she jumped into the actual foam pit and did some like weird split thing in the air. And then just literally just all weight full force into the ground and broke her ass. She did like a cheerleader. Like yeah. she kicked her legs up and like touched her toes. And but just the foam was like, and I'll use American terminology, like just over a foot deep. And underneath it was straight concrete. <laughs> there was like... A single layer of these little foam squares, like one layer. <laughs> it was, it, that's what it's literally like one foot. It is ankle deep. And you're and, on a raised podium jumping. And they're moved and you're fighting on it, which is crazy. I was like, how the fuck did they think like fighting in this thing? Cause that could like someone falls or trips, falls back and smacks their head. Three hours earlier, someone dislocated their knee on it. <laughs> and it's like, mm, oh, just keep going, you know? <laughs> Like, do we, do we not have any other foam in it? Because there was like three of these things set up too. Yeah, there was ones on the other side of the wall in that. But Jeez. the second, the third day, when when after we found out it happened, like it, or was it how severe it was? Or it was all shut down. Uh, the there was one that was still going. The the one that she got hurt in, they shut down. But it was like the Wendy's one. There was one next to the Wendy's booth because there was a Wendy's booth at TwitchCon. That one was still going, and I was like, y'all ballsy. <laughs> It's always like, hmm, do I go in there for some fun? You know? No, you know money? they were like cleaning it out. It's like, y'all gonna use those foam balls? <laughs> Just start loading up their own foam. Yeah. Like, we're good. We'll we're get, gonna, we're gonna double up this <laughs> we're, Yeah, We'll go about right here. Someone drowned. Someone drowned in the foam. <laughs> My moderator was like, oh, jump. Do you want to do it with me on, on the in the gladiator thing? I'm like, I looked at it and instantly said, no, I don't want to get hurt. Like, that was my initial thought. And as soon as I saw it, no, I'll get hurt doing that. Because I'm, I'm so injury prone once I hit 30. Risk aversion when you're at 30 years old. I'm a dad now. I've got to be somewhat smart. Yeah. I won't even get on a pogo stick. Jogging scary to me. Oh, yo, but I can roll okay. my pogo ankles. Sticks? <laughs> pogo sticks are scary from the beginning. Fuck that. That's all I got. I'm 30. Better not get on a pogo stick. Bitch, I've been on a pogo stick once in my life and I will never do it again. Batty, you run and jump on tables. Yeah, but the tables oh, yeah. are firmly on you the ground. You did do that a lot. <laughs> Bunch. The pogo stick leaves the ground. <laughs> That's, that's the line. A, you know, that's like, the determining factor. Yeah. <laughs> Anything I say at this point doesn't matter because you're right. <laughs> you hit a certain age, you're like, eh, 
I, do I need to do any of this? I could die. Actually, I might die on this <laughs> exercise, and I don't think it's worth you it. You jumped out of a plane like I know, and, times. but I thought I was going to die. <laughs> the first few times, I was like, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? And then everything on that first day of jumping was like the most terrifying moment in my life. Jumping out of planes, we did like a fast, like A class jump 25 times. And then this is in like five days. We're getting A license from never jumping out of anything, never doing a wind tunnel, two days of wind tunnel. And then that evening doing a um, tandem jump, one. Then the next morning at solo. 6 a.m., they're just like, okay, and now it's a solo jump. So you'll have your guy jump next to you, but you're free falling your guy and you're landing by yourself. I went to bed early. I was like, I got to get a lot of rest. I got to prep for this. <laughs> If there's a sign, I'm going to take that as I'm going to die and I'm not going to do it. So I go to bed. I plug in my phone, plug in everything. I'm like, okay, sign one. I wake up at 430 and I'm like, why am I awake right now? I don't like that. It's like, who pissed in my pants? Yeah, I was like, I never wake up this early. I need to get up at five. I got 30 more minutes of sleep. I go to grab my phone. It's dead. I'm like, what the fuck? Plug in. The or I unplug it, plug it back in. The charger died. Not the phone. The charger died in the middle of the night. So I was like, oh, that's sign too, I think. <laughs> well, I don't want to be called a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to do it. <laughs> so here I go. And then it's that first jump. You're like up there with everyone. I'm like, am I the only? And you look at everyone else's faces like, oh, I'm good. This is like <laughs> we're all terrified. shitting themselves right now. I was like, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. And we all lived. The first time I went skydiving the whole way up, I was like, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? The did whole you just do a skydiving thing? I did. Oh, you did. You fucking, yeah. you did tandem. No. I did tandem. I thought with the. Oh, that wasn't me in the chair. Everyone thinks it was me in the chair. So what we Daddy, did. That was a VFX shot. No. No, not VFX. They just dropped it and then it's. Slammed. None, none of that was. What? In post. All of it is real footage. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. It was a dummy, right? Uh, the last bit was. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we, no, I, I paid, think, I paid I a skydiving company was. to, uh, we hired a plane we went skydiving and the idea was to get a gaming chair and skydive in a gaming chair. So we literally got the, the owner of the company. He looks like me when he's got all these gear on and no one, like I would say 5% of people figured out it was me straight away. 95% of people were like, wow, you must be really skilled skydiver. Cause it was like the guys like oh jumped God, out of the plane. There's two dudes hanging onto the side of it and he's just like free fall in, in a gaming chair, just swinging back and forth. And then they let go of him and he just like spirals off into the clouds and disappears. <laughs> And we've got, oh, it was you, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Everyone's like, I thought that was you. So, and then, and then the next shot is like, everyone's like going, oh my God, he's falling. And he's like, with style. No, wait, he's just falling. <laughs> and then we have another, like we, another time the plane went up, goes up, we have another gaming chair. We have like, we call it the STD, the standard test dummy. And we, we strap that down to the chair <laughs> and we uh, shove that out America, of the plane. In America, that means something else. We shove it out of the plane. <laughs> And then we have GoPro strapped to that and we're just literally standing right where it's falling and we're like Poof, into the ground. I'm like, that's my landing. That's fucking dope. I seen that. I was like, oh, that's fucking great. I was like, wait, is Pest jumping from the fucking, I was confused at first. I was like, okay, I can see how they did that one. I was like, okay, he jumped though, didn't he? He jumped, jumped. So the, the reason why I did a 10 and jump in the first place was the fact that we needed me in the plane going up. Well, I'm going up, I might as well jump. But I'd already done it before. That wasn't okay. my first time. The first time I was petrified. You've, Only on the way up. Once we were out of the plane, I was like, we're sweet. We're Gucci. But you feel like a, like a baby and your dad is like, <laughs> you're on the front. Like, okay, dad. <laughs> like they walk you to the edge of the plane. Like, ready? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't want to go anymore. And they're like. <laughs> That's the only tag. Good luck. That's the only time I, I don't know if you got it, but the stomach thing from the skydive. No, I didn't get anything. You didn't get the. Uh. No, so this is the only time. You're not supposed to get it because it's a weird, it's a slide. Unless you jump out of a, a blimp or any like a uh, hot air balloon, then you'll oh. have that like the throw up feeling. It's weird. I, I don't have to jump out of stuff. Have you jumped? No. Never. Never. You should. Everyone should once in their life. Just See, once. I, have I you said, jumped? No, I had the opportunity to two months ago and I was just like, no. I'm you 100% should. It's the, it was like a month ago, wasn't it? Or, yeah, it was like a month ago in Salt Lake. Yeah, I seen like Brandon do it. I was like, oh, I wonder if Cody did it. No, they were like, we're going jumping. I was like, that's cool. I'm going to drink mimosas and go to Black Rock. I want to hang out with Lucas and make knives. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Like, dope. <laughs> yeah, neat. Nah, I, sh I should have I done it. It's, it's a just a, an experience. You, you get out and you do it and you're like, wow, the world is big. 
Because you go so high up. Bro, under the canopy is the most beautiful thing. I don't know. Like when you're just like floating. Well, not strapped to a dude. It's not as, <laughs> not as relaxing, actually, when you're like, God, I'm still here. <laughs> and they're like, take the toggles. And you're like. <sighs> I don't know if this happened to you, but when you were doing the tandem, did he like change the straps or some shit? And you just sink all of a sudden? So like he, he gets like the straps and he pulls something and then you just drop like an extra foot. But that one foot, it's like, that's the, your life gone. You're like, huh? oh, wait, wait, fuck, I'm still on this guy. <laughs> Let me uh, tell a really, I think I told you guys the story about uh, the tandem bad news bear guy. <laughs> okay. Your reaction is going to be gold during this. So uh, our instructors, we had like the top Red Bull instructors. We had like all the pinnacle of <laughs> skydiving people teaching us when we did this. They were also telling us really terrifying stuff before, like, <laughs> the, okay, don't do this because you're pretty much dead. Okay, if the parachute does this and two open and it gets tangled, again, you're probably dead. Just try to pull it apart. And we were like, ah, oh, man. And then they were just telling, oh, what's the worst story you know about tandem jumping? He's like, oh, man, I know the worst one. So student and a teacher jumped and they got under canopy. They were going. And then the teacher fucking do 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 undid his own straps and was like, okay, bye. And just the teacher just fucking yeeted himself off with no parachute. He went to sleep. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Use different words for the, what I just said. He went to sleep permanently. <laughs> for, he forever <laughs> slept. Yeah. On his own, his own accord. <laughs> but he was like, here, you're going to need these toggles. Fucking hand them to you. He's like, okay, you're going to left, right. Okay. And then do this before you land. You're going to pull real hard before you land, but wait till you almost land. You got this. No fucking way. <laughs> That's yeah. fucking awesome. That's as hardcore as it fucking gets. And then that dude is probably the only student in the world that did his first jump on a tandem, landed so low. <laughs> 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 like he walks away a fucking hero slash really fucked up at the end of the day. That's my face when if I landed, I was like, <laughs> Dude, the second I'm here, I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. I just let it flow for as long as possible. No, that's funny. No, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, oh. Dude, I was just like, what the fuck? Trauma. Oh my god. Yeah, you hear that is a place that you could definitely say I'm under the trauma from this experience. Yes. Fuck. When he, I just picture him landing by himself. The student like walks it out. You're like perfectly landing. It's like, nice. Where's your instructor? <laughs> what did you say to that? Like, wait, you were tanned. I don't know. He's a lawn dart like, somewhere. He's like, you, I know he was having a bad day, but shit. Where did he go? Holy fuck. <laughs> he don't exist. No black. Way. Right? So they would tell us those stories before our first jump. And I'm like, and it's going to be fun. They also would do um, someone sabotaged a fuck ton of stuff. Like on uh, another jumper hated another jumper. So naturally he just went in like clipped all the. <laughs> That's why you always check your own gear before everything. You're like, okay, check, check. So he just clipped all the fucking. Chick, chick. But got it. Yeah. So the guy jumped. He's like, woo. Whoo. And that's a handle. Where? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And that's just a handle. And you're like. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, you just can control how you fall. And that's about it. You're like, look for trees. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that would be the only thing you could save save you, right? Oh, maybe one. I mean, there's stories of people falling in like World War II and shit, like falling out of fucking like jumping, losing shoes, and just hitting the tree. Like a guy fell from like, oh god, very you high. hit terminal Thousands velocity, of, and you're just yeah, that's it. There's a chick in Australia. She was touring through Europe um, with her friend. They went skydiving in like France or some shit. And while they were um, skydiving, she was doing a tandem. Obviously, the guy pulled the parachute. And it choked him out and he was like, like pretty much fully out cold. They smashed into the ground. She survived. Her name's M Emma Carey. M Carey. She just wrote a book actually. And it just, when the shoot just I wrapped. I think the guy survived too actually now. Think about it. Like the parachute came out, but it like it tangled. We go out and then it just like, it was like wrapped around his throat. So he was kind of like passed out and she was just like float down to the ground. Yeah. And it was like, she's, uh, I don't know what you call it, but she can't feel below her waist. Paralyzed from paraplegic, but paraplegic, she can yeah. still move her legs. Oh, weird. Yeah, she's like a superhero, super pretty much. So she's got like she can control her oh, legs. That's the superhero. If I control, <laughs> she can walk. Superhero. Oh. That's the word. <laughs> but she can't feel anything. That's a superhero. <laughs> that's 
It's, it's like Spider Man getting bit by a spider, but she jumped out of a plane. I don't think those and are, got fucked up. I don't think she can do it again. Okay. <laughs> she won't feel anything. She's good. Most people can survive a fall once. She can twice. It's not a superpower. How does she know when she has to poop? She can't. It just happens. She I have the same problem. Just no, I don't think she has a bag. <laughs> Diapers. I think so. Okay. You just go to the toilet every like hour. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I follow her on Instagram. She actually like was, she said, this is why I just don't have nice couches. And it was like, <laughs> she's got like, we on that couch, we on that couch and we on the next couch. <laughs> and she jokes no, about it though? Cool. Yeah, she's Oh, cool. she's a fucking she, gangster then. Yeah. She's like really just chill. We're going to put her up on there. <laughs> on the here right here i don't know where in the screen fluck, can, figure it out yeah fuck what was the name i think it's <laughs> m carry or emma carry carry you're a gangster if you just google chick who like fell from the sky <laughs> now that's <laughs> i'm not even bullshitting you're right. australian lawn dart that was my girlfriend girl who fell from the sky i think it's her book's name book name not sponsored <laughs> Yeah. 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 He pulls it out and sets it right, right, here. right here. Yeah, this book right here, this autograph copy. Like, Where you two can get your autograph copy. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you use uh, discount code PEST15. Get 15% off that book. God. <laughs> They're going to try that. Imagine. The royalties now. Just go in front of your audience and just get like 15% royalty on book sales. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Sorry, your butt doesn't work. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for the royalty. Oh, guys, look at this. We got a new pumpkin. Is this is this when you're gonna do it? Yeah, you're gonna do this right now. That yeah. one that one smells really Dude, this, good. It, you want to eat it? I want to. Yeah, I want to lick that. It smells like it a white girl. So... Is there a warning label not to lick stuff on the on our on our products yet? Get that. Get that. <laughs> oh, you did it. Nice. It doesn't. Taste I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> <say>. <laughs> and he went oh, back for caution. A keep out of reach of children. Wait, I do not that. ingest. Oh well. <laughs> Avoid contact with eyes in case of emergency. Blah 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 blah. Water. I don't know. White claw. Out oh of rex kills pest. <laughs> Big yeah. streamer. Oh no. <laughs> I hope you shit yourself. You project like, yeah, it's, it's like tomorrow you're What's like, like how's pest? Well, you had a seizure and oh, a sleep and died. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like he's, pumpkin. A little bit. He speaks English now. <laughs> kind of does. It, it kind of does taste like pumpkin. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Want to hit? This is, yeah, well, oh, man, this is the most da- this is the worst thing you can do with an ad read. It's like, <laughs> no, don't ingest. <laughs> it tastes yeah. like pumpkin. Guys, oh, it does. Don't eat it does. It's, it's like right. pumpkin pie. God, I slash that. You not like pumpkin like, pie. You got a whole chunk on your thumb. Just eat it. It tastes like it smells <laughs> like it tastes like pumpkin. Pie. <laughs> hey, over at Outer Eggs, go check out outereggs.com. Save. Save 20% by using come 20 or unsub. Just use come 20 because it's way more hilarious and Pretty it gets fun. used a lot. <laughs> Surprisingly, everyone's like, yeah, I, just put it in your hair. Oh, but it smells so freaking good. Go, uh, so go what, get your What does it do? Pomade. Like this. Yeah, but you haven't said that during the ad raid. We don't need We've to. We just they tasted know. it. Yeah. If you like pomade <laughs> like and <laughs> hair stuff, use this. Pomade. Pumpkin spice. Fun to watch smell struggle. Sm- Come 20. Come 20. <laughs> also use donuts, beard cream, or baddies, beard oil. Or cream. Use our cream. Come 20. Ding. Ad read done. Boom. Killed it. Yeah. So that's Nailed I it. know how to do them. It's really fun to watch them struggle through them. I mean, like handing ad reads to Eli to read because people watch it the entire We don't have dip offs. <laughs> like we have increases now. And that's the happiest thing for them. They're like, man, people don't skip. It's like, yeah, because I'm retarded. And I struggle <laughs> reading these words. <laughs> 30 second ad read, at least five minutes that I'm going to spend reading it. <laughs> but t- 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 the, 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 Batty, what's this word? <laughs> Cody, I can't, is, pro- <laughs> I can't, pro- can't pronounce this. If there's more than two syllables. We move on. Oh my god, my hands coming. What uh, what video are you coming out with here soon? What'd you make today? We made the S to F tier list of all the talk of guns, but in real life, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. It really will be. You excited to be demonetized immediately? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've given up. I don't care. Yeah. I just make what have I want. You been now. Getting, have you been demonetized before? Is that like a thing that's happened to you? No. Oh, okay. Okay. So this so. is new to you. Okay. Okay. After good. sixty days, you'll notice your views pick back up. <laughs> okay. It's the shadow band ending. Do they just not like gun stuff at all? 
No. Uh, their policy team has a certain set of rules that don't make sense. No. Uh, no 30 round mags, no suppressors, no full auto, no thermal sights. We did all we, that except for the thermal sight. Yeah. In the first like five minutes of your video, you're breaking every rule. No, that'll all happen in the first 30 seconds. Intro. Yeah. yeah. In the <laughs> intro. intro. <laughs> yeah, you'll be well, fine. Well, if you're going to do it, do it properly, you know? That's it. You know, there's no, there's no reason to half ass it at this point. You're, no, you're going to get hit no matter what. This video is just about having some fun, and that's what I want it to be. I mean, it looked like you had a blast. Your reaction to everything, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's the <laughs> He felt something today. Yeah. <laughs> something that it doesn't normally get. He feels alive again. Yeah. Did you ever get any cool, like, gun shit while you were in the military? Um, I've shot, I've shot probably one of the main colors of each of them. Yeah. Um, so like you've hit, you've hit the AK box, the AR box, I, but I didn't hit any AKs, but definitely like M4, the Steyr, mm. um, ha- Browning HP was the, the pistol that we used. Uh, I should have brought mine. I didn't know. You, I have, have, a, you have a high power. Yeah, yeah, I have one. I've got, um, oh my God. What's the shotgun? The main shotgun that we all use in Tarkov. Not the 153 really? on that. The... The, the the one that everyone loves. I don't know, I've shot shotguns. The KS twenty three. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's the one oh, I was. We didn't bring the KS twenty three today. Actually, now I think about it, because we don't have one. Mm. And you those have are to be able I've, to find I've, the rounds for it. And- yeah, you have to make them pretty much. I've talked to Brian about it a lot because I love it and I want one, but they don't like the there's a, there's tens of them that exist. The, the, the Mark gauge? nineteen would be the most fun gun ever to shoot. What was it? Mark nineteen. Oh, the, pull, oh, yeah, the, the grenade, grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. You, you get like you you do all the qualification like here's twelve rounds <laughs> and they're like dum, 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 and then you're like oh that was fun but like <laughs> that part's the only cool bit about it but um eighty four mil Carl Gustav sixty six mil I've shot so many of those two the sixty six mil oh, oh it's I don't know the designation for it it's just a the the law it's like the law oh, one I, use only oh like, uh, uh, like uh, rocket launcher have you seen Beverly Hills Cop two He's like, look down here, and, like, and he cracks it open. And he goes, click here, and he's like, shoots the rocket out. Mm. It's exactly okay, so the same it's a rocket. Okay. When I hear like sixty-six mil, I'm like, hey, these are bullets. Like, no, no. I, shot I go to mortars. I, I start thinking mortars. Oh rounds, yeah. But. Um, fifty cal. Hates a fifty cal, and yeah, got an SV ninety-eight. Pretty sure that's what we use. Oh, fuck, S- SV. Sorry, SV. Oh, okay. SV. Yep, 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 yep. Never yep, shot yep, the yep. 50 cal like sniper, the Barrett. I mean, you got to shoot a special one today too. That thing's fucking that was silly. Sick. Oh, the Sholdy, the yeah. uh, M82A2. Yeah, yeah, the the bull pupped 50. It's the most sketch weapon platform in the world to me. Just because I don't know. I, I, everything's I think, happening. I think Kentucky ballistics yeah. might have something to say yeah. about sketchy <laughs> weapon platforms. We can, we could have brought out the Serbu for him to shoot. Yeah, thanks for bringing that out, Eli. But even then, they, like Serbu blew up here. Not <laughs> here. Because the action's happening here. Here, right here, as everything goes on. And then obviously, like, just to change back to the previous topic, was the uh, the Minimi, which is very much similar to your M249. Oh, you you okay. call it the Minimi. Minimi here. Mini? Minimis? Yeah. Dude, I need it's a five five six belt fed. Oh no shit! Yeah, saw. Yeah, the two four nine saw. Yeah, and uh, Mag fifty eight is. I've shot heaps of that too, which is seven six two belt fed. Um, oh, okay. it's like the. It's like a, it's like an yeah. old school, old school like M60, machine gun, like, kind of like what we had out on the range today. The uh, M sixty. No, it looks more World War Two like. Oh, okay, oh okay, dang! Okay. Like old, old. Vietnam style. Old old. Yeah, but they're really reliable. <laughs> they're good. Um. And then we got the shoot like the Maximite, which is pretty much very similar to the M60. Ah. <laughs> All these fucking, yeah, I, it's weird when it, I don't know what. No, I'm thinking about, I'm like, I, I don't know half of these things because I know so much about Fire. US military stuff, just in but firearms all, that we see, but nothing. It's all very similar at the end of the day, like, day though. They, they, they all work pretty much very similar. Like I had very few issues trying to shoot anything today. No, you're like, I got, I got the gist of it. There's a couple it. of random shit that I'd never seen before, like the P90 and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, trying I, to figure out how to do weird. that stuff. And I think you, that was yours and yeah. yours. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? That is a weird weapon when you pick up. It's like the mag, how it loads, because when you push the in safety the bullets, as they, well, and you're like, oh, yeah. this is a weird safety catch. The bullets, do you see they load sideways? Yeah. So they stack and then rotate when they go in the chamber in the backside. 
triggers booty and then the safety is also a guess because i still forget i'm like it's so close to the trigger but, that i'm like oh my god that's way too close and then is it like what's on safe what's on fire because i always forget i have to like i'm clear like it, and i'm look. like I yeah, look. I look. That's, that's a physical check not a, a muscle memory one like an ar oh uh, see mine got sarah <laughs> Oh, you can't see on yours. <laughs> no, you so can I see on mine. Yeah, I clear it and do everything, oh. and I'm like, safety's here. Okay, get, okay, we're good. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah no, you, yours got completely covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full auto is just that. all the way to the right if you have the right pack for it. I don't, as much as I love the idea of a full auto P90, I don't want to pay for that. They it, shoot so fast. It was boys. It's expensive. So it's five seven. We right? shot so much. It's like fucking <laughs> we dollar and ten like, cents around right we now. We finished and I'm like, that's ten uh, grand done. That was a lot of money. Harley was asking, he's like, How much did you guys spend probably? Or what was the how much money was spent shooting today? I was like, It would have been a, a lot. A couple thousand dollars. Like, yeah, easy. Yeah. Easy. Uh, a lot of the AK ammo wasn't bad. We shot a lot of AK stuff. Yeah. Some of the five five six hurt. Yeah. Because we didn't shoot any steel. I don't think we shot any steel today, really, did we? Because so. we brought out, we started 5.56 with the G36 stuff, and you can't shoot steel through those. So I know everybody was loading brass out the gate. Ugh. And plus, we had the, the fucking 9 by 39 the VSS out there. And that's Which, like, they were saying like five bucks, 450 a round. Yeah. Two most disappointing guns was the VSS. Yep. It had so many stoppages because of the hard, hard uh, what do you call it? Like hard struck? The primers. Just, you hit, yeah. hit it and it's nothing. And like, out of a, was it a 10 or 20 round mag? 10 round. Wow. It, it was, was like, like seven. There was seven stoppages. Yeah, you, you had, I think you only had two rounds consecutive. Yeah. And great for combat. Well, it's crazy. <laughs> What's the ammo? Because we've though, shot right? it before. It's bad ammo. We've shot it before. Whole mag, no issues. It's it's bad ammo. Right now, getting nine by 39 in the US is impossible. Yeah. So you're shooting a lot of older or sketchy or Brandon made it in his shop. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that you the, saw the guys that work for them. They're the, ones that, they're the ones that made it. They were running around picking up the brass after. Like, yeah, here we go. The one gun that actually was like amazingly shit, in my opinion, was the 1911. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they're shit. It's so played up. Yeah. Two World Wars, better. Yeah. Two World stopping Wars. power. My open carry. Here we go. I shot that. I'm like, wow. Like, that was the most anticlimactic thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, it's not you, ideal. <laughs> Did you expect, like, an eagle to screech and fly <laughs> Pick up the gun and fly away? It's like, America. <laughs> it just, I don't know. Just everything about that when I shot it was like, that was shit. Yeah, it's just like, ah, this, is, this is it. This is it. The, uh, pistols are the hardest thing to shoot. Agree. And then there, you only get seven rounds with the 1911. It's 45. It's fucking trapped. It's just like my least favorite of my pistols that I own. I only, I own two that I never shoot ever. I think I, the last time I brought mine out, I used spit to lube it. Cause it was so shit. I was so, I was, <laughs> spit spit spitting, I was spitting into it. And that's why it doesn't work. But I do to my girlfriend. I, <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> you don't come on your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's doing that for <laughs> this jelly. Okay, so I don't want to know the answer to this question. <laughs> oh God, you're, Just, you're at a public range. Someone's where like, my gun's is, not I running. I need Adam Savage and the Buster. So <laughs> long. let me jellyfish that gun real quick. Yeah. You just hand it back there. <laughs> what the fuck is on my pistol? Wait till you shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> You mean it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All guys it. should get that joke. <laughs> That's like a guy joke. <laughs> Pess, do you get that joke? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, good. good. <laughs> Sorry. That's a sperm joke. <laughs> it's it's calm. It's just calm. <laughs> it's just a calm. It's just calm. It's interesting you called a jellyfish because I've never heard anyone else say that. Freshwater, Freshwater jellyfish. jellyfish. Yeah. I think Baddie's the one. That, I remember yeah, in the army, like, no jellyfish that. on the shelf floor. <laughs> that was like every time we were away, it was like, no jellyfish. <laughs> I heard it from, yeah, I heard it from yeah. Batty. You're like freshwater jellyfish. I don't know, that's, what, that's not where I picked it up, but that's what it was always like. Freshwater jellyfish, like, come on the bathroom floor. It's <laughs> just, just kind of looks like a little fucking shitty jellyfish. I don't know, man. <laughs> a dead jellyfish. I used to, you know, Jenicles, obviously, Tarkov streamer. Yeah. She is far too innocent for her own good, and I used to fuck with her with silly terms she didn't understand, and that was the one that she really, she's like, oh, because she's got a jellyfish logo. Oh, she oh. latched onto that one for way too long before she Googled it. Oh, God. I nice. got real mad. <laughs> <laughs> Three months, Patty. Three months. I was saying 
I made a shirt that says freshwater jellyfish. I had merch lines. Millions wasted. Bro, I'm going to make a shirt with her logo on it. It says freshwater jellyfish. And I'll send it to her. Nice cum shirt. Oh, my God. Why isn't that a shirt? Freshwater, sure. jellyfish? freshwater jellyfish with a really cute jellyfish anime jellyfish above next it. month there we go yeah. there's our merch drop next month get ready oh. yeah it's like a little one that's like a smile yeah. <laughs> it's just, just a like smi- an extra bit there's extra gotta be on the s- dome. some kind of cone like a line down the top <laughs> one long line going <laughs> <laughs> the tentacles are the little tails yeah exactly yeah. we'll do jute tentacles on the side like this like it's thinking it's like hmm <laughs> Little, the little blushing thing <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that the animes blush. do, the little red yeah. like things. I hate it here. Dude, that's yeah. a good. You know, it's going to sell like a <laughs> gonna motherfucker, like a, though. Y'all fucking weirdos are going to really shit, shit out of that. will sell the most. That will. That, I mean, unfortunately, that's going to fucking. I mean, yeah, the come subscribe shirt was our bestseller for a hot minute there. There's a good text thread right there. Well, guys, is anyone going to buy a shirt that says come on? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's I. That was me. I, I know. Mean, of all people <laughs> here that said it, I was like, "Are people going to buy a shirt that says come in giant white letters on it?" Really, highest selling shirt, number one every month. Yep, <laughs> every month. And you're like, "Where do people wear this at?" And then we're in a nice restaurant, Italia. Yeah, and every everyone's <laughs> looking, and we're like, "What the fuck?" And Batty's walking back with his cum shirt on. <laughs> like, oh, it's <laughs> so aggressive. It is. It's so aggressive. It was, it was like a Sunday a, morning. Everyone's like just getting oh, out of Sunday church. Morning, yeah. yeah, it's like church. Everyone's like, "Okay, we're gonna go plans. film the podcast after." I was like, "I should wear a podcast shirt today." It's in, it's in the Doom font, so it's like aggressive. It screams. Yeah. I want one. Come Done. On. We, we should wear it yeah. somewhere really public. <laughs> TwitchCon. <laughs> <laughs> Just TwitchCon Paris. All right. <laughs> yeah. No God. one will understand it. You're good. <laughs> no one will understand it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. When, uh, when is TwitchCon Paris? July. It should be in July. Have one in Paris? I know. Uh, that would be the, the EU. Kind they, of they kind of, it's been Amsterdam a couple times, but. Amsterdam might be the most dope one. Which porn star is going to break go. their back at this one? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jump from the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Bit more oh, foam. Wow. Yeah, I had a good burp. I was like, oh, that's gonna be a She's just done her end of the mic. I wanted I want everybody in the audience to smell <laughs> it. No, TwitchCon, what uh so you have Amsterdam, Paris, when do those kick or are they, I think it's they July. Rotate? July should be um TwitchCon AU. Yeah, I'm down for that. Or TwitchCon Japan if they ever did that. Oh, well, it's not geez. they need to do TwitchCon Japan. hundred percent. Is there a lot of Japanese streamers? Yes. And it's, it's a and everyone time, loves though. Japan. That's why I'm surprised it's never happened because that's like. Well, oh. EU is a new thing. TwitchCon EU. It's not TwitchCon Paris or TwitchCon Amsterdam. It's TwitchCon EU. Started with Amsterdam twice, I believe. Uh, and then they're announcing that the next one is supposed to be Paris, correct? Yeah. yeah. Next year's Paris. Yeah. That's going to be fuck. See, I would do that one just for the experience. My brother just got back from Paris today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Che was out there just having fun. He was like, much worse. He was going to like metal shows. It was like in French. I was like, what the fuck are you? He's like, I don't know, but these people are fucking dope and do a lot of shots. <laughs> so they're just drinking, having a party. I was like, hey, as long as you're having a good time, that's all that matters. Until he gets hostiled. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Wait, okay, what? Okay, not the murder wait, part. Hostile. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me know. It, it, it did not happen, hostile? but a couple of our buddies at TwitchCon at this time got a hostel and they didn't know it was a hostel. <laughs> Oh, they oh you mean host- hostel? in San Diego? Yeah. Okay. What? When like, you say hostel, you mean hostel, yeah? It's like, hostel? Yeah, it's like a place you stay that's like really budget yeah. cheap. Yeah, but, but like, there's, there's like people. communal bathrooms and rooms and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then don't say hostel was- because hostel sounds fancy. Hostel, hostel sounds hostel? shitty. <laughs> yeah. Eli Roth movie, like people get tortured. You know, yeah, the movie shit. where they're like... Are yeah. oh, you called hostel? Yeah, they cut the eyeball. I love that movie. The pus comes out. That was a cool Slovakia. Yeah, Ugh. dude, hostels. No, no, he they they Hostel. got a place they thought was a regular hotel, and it turns out they get there and it's like, oh yeah, your bathroom's down the hall and it's attached to two other rooms. I hate this. And they end up getting locked out of their place, like they couldn't get in anymore at night, so they had to sleep one night. They slept in a fucking hallway. This is the biggest clusterfuck of any experience I've ever heard because so many people had their Airbnbs fucked up. Yeah, really. Like Airbnbs are sketchy, man. Yeah. I'm never Event doing Airbnb Airbnbs. again. Nope. Never. Oh shit. Sure. Because it's like people getting their Airbnbs canceled. Other people had, like, uh, one of our mates, he went to the Airbnb and they're like, no, there's no Airbnbs here. It was like one of those big apartment complexes that was subletting it. 
And the guy's like, come out the back, I'll give you the key. Yeah. Real up. shit. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. I had another, we had another person who had uh, an Airbnb where the dude who was renting the Airbnb was staying there still, like, next to them in the, in the next room, like, in the same living room area. Like, like people just lying like a motherfucker on that shit. And it was Jeez. so expensive. I just do hotels now. I will never do an Airbnb. I've had one weird Airbnb, and it was just, like, it just turned out to be a really shitty place. And I was like, nah, never again. Crazy. I'll just get a hotel. I've always had success with Airbnbs. Damn. Yeah, I'm not trying to get cheap ones either. Yeah, <laughs> that's, well, that's true too. You know what, fair. That's the yeah, key component fair. in that. They were really nice. They Airbnb. weren't cheap though. Like mine was ten grand. What the fuck? Okay, you got I, a needed, bunch of I wanted six and... beds. Oh yeah. yeah. So I had on my team with me, and I was like, the first one got cancelled, and the second one was further out and two grand more expensive, and it got cancelled the day before I left. So I had to find someone or somewhere within forty eight hours of leaving. How did they cancel it before you? Pest infection. No pun intended. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. Wait, is that real? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So if it's legit on, <laughs> they didn't reset it. They didn't like re like let it out because we checked like straight away if there was anything going on. I don't know. So did you have to get six hotels? No, we just found another place, but it was like, it was out in the suburbs. Oh yeah. And then you're doing the drive and all that. The Ubers dude. every day. Holy but shit. But to get the same distance, it was going to cost me $20,000. And I'm like, I'm not paying 20 grand to stay in walking distance of TwitchCon. Fuck no. Bro, no. That's fucking, I just get a hotel room. That's I holy. Hotels with, at that stage. I mean, you know, at that point, you're right. There was no shot. There was, we were fucked. We, were, we literally found the one place left and we stayed there because all the hotels were straight up like booked out and to get, you know, even if we were twin rooms, so it was three rooms I needed to get for a week each. It's fucked. That's fucking insanity to me. What the fuck? Yeah, never bringing my team Anywhere ever yeah, again. Fuck you guys. Lesson learned. Pieces of shit. <laughs> we got your number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at both of you. <laughs> fuck. Now I've all that. I did in LA when I had to stay uh, one time in LA. I got one right next to my kiddo. And I was like, oh man, this is like forty dollars a night. It was like fifty, forty or fifty for five days for Christmas. I was like, oh, it's a one bedroom. It's everything I need. And like, I get in. I was like, house looks. It's like one hallway, and I was like, "Huh, this is tiny. It's weird." <laughs> and then I noticed it was like numbers on. I was like, "Oh, this is a house," and they just turned it into a hotel because I like opened my door and it's like Ehh. and closed it. I was like, "Oh, this is it. Okay, this is fucking it." And then communal bathroom, everything. I was like, "What the fuck?" Nah, man, forty dollars. I was like, "You know what? I can live with it." <laughs> Ryden's not gonna care at that. He was like four at this yeah, age. Fair. Yeah, he's autistic anyway. He don't give a shit. Is a tablet. Ryan's a happy camper. He's like, thank you, daddy. I don't care about this house. I'm like, good, buddy. Come yeah. on. <laughs> but how tall is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is 18 foot. This is tiny, daddy. Can you take me to the communal bathroom? Come on, son. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> God bless my kiddo. I love him. <sighs> daddy, you ready? Yep. Let's I'm fucking good. hear it. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Subscribe Podcast. As always, we have Eli Double Tap, Bone Up Operator. And Pestily. a very, very special guest. Pestily? Pestily. Say it like with a little gusto. Yeah. Pestily? Oh, now <laughs> say cunt real quick. <laughs> cunt. <laughs> now where can we find you at? <laughs> Subscribe. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on YouTube. Everything, right? Yeah, everything. Pestily on everything. Boom. That's fucking. Like and how do you spell it? Pest. Ely. Ely. Like Pest, I, I mean, you. If they can't spell that, like, <laughs> true, they don't deserve it anyways. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, cunts. Yeah, you fucking cunts. Oh,